if you only knew the power of the dark side. It is your destiny. Hello everyone, this is Take the Gate. It is September 21st, 2014, and I'm bringing you an article on Tech Dirt, and it's written by Tim Cushing, and it was written on September 8th, 2014, and this is titled, Government Agencies Can Come After Your Paycheck If You Don't Pay Your Freedom of Information Act Request Fees. So, it is highlighting how the government will come after you and garnish your wages and try to force you to pay exorbitant fees, which eventually become... Uh, ways to prevent transparency. The struggle to force government to behave in transparent fashion often runs through the FOIA request process. When government responds, it often takes out meaningful information by abusing FOIA exemptions. When the government doesn't respond, the free request becomes a rather expensive trip through the nation's courts. So, censorship in its finest here. Even when the government responds, it may decide the way not to waive fees, uh, leaving the requester to come up with anything from several hundred to several thousand dollars in order to see documents created with taxpayer funded federal by federal employees. So entities like Muckrake deal with the obstacle through crowdfunding, but not every register has access to this sort of support. If the documents are delivered without full payment, some just require a first installment of a certain percentage. The government can come after you for uncollected fees, it says. And in a letter to the FOIA Advisory Committee, Michael Ravinitsky pointed to an article that Washington-focused blog The Hill indicates that some government agencies are willing to use this method to collect unpaid fees. And I would like to bring the issue, it says here, to the committee's attention, an application administrative wage garnishment to fees assessed from Freedom of Information Act requests. Federal agencies have begun exploring, instituting a weapon to use against FOIA requesters, a wage garnishment. Here is a link to an article that mentions two agencies. One is implementing a wage garnishment that has decided not to do so after receiving some unfavorable feedback. In this case, two agencies have already sought permission to use wage garnishment in FOIA cases for unpaid fees. A number of other agencies have established rules implementing the Administrative Wage Garnishment Provision of the Debt Collection Improvement Act of 1996, DCIA, not to mention the FOIA specifically and other agencies in the process of such rules are planning to add such rules. He cautions the use of the collection method will only further encourage onerous and abusive fees. No, it's encroachment towards censorship of government capabilities and government uh, correspondence and government documents so we can't see them and no one can understand them and stuff is kept in the dark. Agencies often impose disproportionate fees that have an effect of deterring certain types of requests. For example, requesters re frequently receive large fee letters without the benefit of preliminary call or note from the agency to discuss possibility of a narrowed, more specified request or help clarify fee status. Agency staff often charge review fees for non-commercial requesters despite the fact that such fees are inapplicable. Agency staff frequently seek to charge search fees to news media requesters, again, despite the fact that such fees are inapplicable. Non-commercial requesters are subject to search and review fees, and when responses are not provided within the statutory deadlines, even though that the law precludes such fees and agencies asserting that all, nearly all records, requests that we receive subject to unusual exceptional circumstances. Agencies even have imposed large page-by-page -page duplication fees even when supplying electronic copies of records that already exist in electronic form. As Radovinsky notes, in his form of collection is particularly intrusive and can have adverse effects on requesters. For citizens on the receiving end, this can adversely affect the current and future employment as well as possibly prevent them from obtaining housing or vehicles. Their credit ratings are at risk here because they have a debt that has to be paid back to the government and that wage garnishment. For those who have already employed, it informs employers of little more than the fact that the employee owes the government money, which implies all sorts of unseen dishonesty. 
Radovinsky calls it a nuclear option, one which certain agencies might deploy further disencouragement of future FOIA requests. Every government agency has many other options to resolve this issue, blocking further requests and withholding remaining responsive documents, to name a few. That this fee extraction method shouldn't even be on the table. Yes, that's because it was made by administrative law and was not by Congress. The most disgusting aspect of this certain agencies, and I imagine there will be no more who are warm to the idea, feel entitled to take funds. Yes, because that's what the government does. It's revenue generating to steal taxpayer funds and criminalize people. Well, additional funds right out of the hands of citizens' paychecks to pay for the documents created, stored, distributed by taxpayer-funded agencies and taxpayer-funded employees. This isn't like federally funded school loans where the government has spotted a member of the public and the money to finish their education. This is the government extracting fees for information that it won't release until it's asked and charging ridiculous amounts for it. The fact that this method is available to the government agencies is its own chilling effect, running contrary to the spirit of Freedom of Information Act. And just wait. Eventually, you're going to see experts that are being hired by the government to pursue and look up this specific information from Freedom of Information Act requests, unless you pay a fee to them and then pay for the actual document. $200 an hour or something ridiculous like that, which they already do have people working and being paid $200 an hour to look up information as researchers. They are going to just continue to hammer this away until no one is able to find out what in the heck is going on with our government. This is Tate the Gay. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Signing out.